own degree, sit down. But first and last, the hearty welcome. Thanks to your majesty. Ourself will mingle with society and play the humble host. Our hostess keeps her state, but in best time we will require her welcome. <laughs> Pronounce it for me, sir, to all our friends. For my heart speaks, they are welcome. <laughs> See, they encounter thee with their heart's thanks. Both sides are even. Here, I'll sit in the midst. Be large in mirth. Anon we'll drink a measure, the table <laughs> round. <laughs> There's blood on thy face. Sit thank you, sir. Let it be love in him within. Is he dispatched? My lord, his throat is cut, that I did for him. Thou art the best of the comfort. Yet he's good that is the light of flames. If thou didst it, thou art the non Royal Sir Fleance is scared. Then comes my fit again. I had else been perfect, hold as marble, founded as the rock, as broad and general as the casing air. But now I am cavern, crypt, confined, bound into saucy doubts and fears. Did I not say? I will not say that a bitch you buy through twenty trenches that is on his head when you say that to me. Thanks for that. There the grown serpent lies. The worm that's fled, that nature that in time will then and breed no secret of that. Get thee gone, so we'll hear ourselves again tomorrow. My royal lord, you do not give the cheer. The feast is sold, it is not often vouched. While it is a making, it is given with welcome. To feed were best at home. <laughs> From thence, the sauce to meet is ceremony. Meeting were bare without it. Sweet remembrance. <laughs> now, Good digestion, weight on appetite, and health on both. <laughs> May it please your highness sit. Here had we our countries on the roof were the graced person of our dear Banquo present. Who may I rather challenge for unkindness than pity for mischance? <laughs> his absence, sir, lays blame upon his promise. It please your highness to grace us with your royal presence. Table's full. There is a place here reserved, sir. Where? Here, my good lord. <laughs> What is so moved, Your Highness? Which of you have done this? What, my lord? Thou canst not say I did it. Never shake thy gory locks at me! Uh, gentlemen, rise. His Highness is not well. Oh, sit, worthy friends. My lord is often thus, and hath been from his youth. Pray you keep seat. The fit is momentary. Upon a thought he will again be well. If much you note him, you shall offend him, and extend his passion. Feed and regard him not. Are you a man? I am a bold one that dare look on that which might fall the devil. Oh, Prost, this is the very painting of your fear. This is the air drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. Oh, these flaws and starts, impostors to true fear, would well become a woman's story at a winter fire authorized by her granddam. Shame itself. Why do you make such faces when all's done you look but on a stool? Do you see there? Look! Behold! Lo! How say you? Why, what care I, if thou canst not speak to? If shadow houses and our graves must send those that we bury back, our monument shall be the moors of kites. Quite unmanned in folly. If I stand here, I saw him. Fly for shame! Blood hath been shed there now, in the olden time, ere human statue purged the gentle wheel. I and since two murders had been performed too terrible for the air. The times had been that when the brains were out, the man would die and there an end. But now they rise again with twenty mortal murders on their crowns and push us from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, <clears throat> your noble friends do lack you. Oh, I do forget. <laughs> do not muse at me, my most worthy friends. Uh, I have a strange infirmity, which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all, mm. then I'll sit down. Give me some wine, feel full. I drink to the general joy of the whole table, and to our dear friend Banquo, whom we miss. Would he were here. To all and him we thirst, and all to all. Our duties and the pledge. Mm. And quit my sight. Let the earth hide thee. Thy bones are marrowless. Thy blood is cold. Thou hast no speculation in those eyes which thou dost glare with. Think of this, good peers, for has the thing of custom. 
Tis no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time. What man dare, I dare, approach thou like the rugged Russian bear, the armed rhinoceros or the hydrant tiger? Take any shape but this, and my firm nerve shall never tremble. Or be alive again, and dare me to the desert with thy sword. If trembling I inhabit, then protest me the baby of the girl. Hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery, hence! Why, so being gone, I am a man again. Pray you sit still. You have displaced the mirth, broke the good meeting with most admired disorder. Can such things be? and overcome us like a summer's cloud without our special wonder? You make me strange, even to the disposition that I owe, when now I behold that you can see such sights and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks when mine is blanched with fear. What sights, my lord? I pray you speak not. He grows worse and worse. Question enrages him. At once, good night. Mm. Stand not upon the order of your going, but go at once. Good night, and better health attend his majesty. Kind good night to all. It will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move, trees to speak. Augurs and understood relations have, by maggot pies and choffs and roots, brought forth the secretest man of blood. What is the night? Almost at odds with morning. Which is which? I'll say you that Banquo denies his person at our great bidding. Did you send to him, sir? I heard it by the way, but I will send. It's not one of them, but in his house I keep a servant feed. I will tomorrow, and the times I will, to the weird sisters more shall they speak. And now I am bent to know, by the worst means, the worst. For mine own good, all causes shall give way. I am in blood, stepped in so far that should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as go o'er. Strange things I have in head that will to hand, which must be kept to ere they may be scanned. You lack the season of all natures. Sleep. Well, come, will to sleep? My strange and self-abuse is the initiate fear that wants hard use. 